working. Okay, it's working. All right, so we're back uh, with another tutorial or like a video. Or, yeah. So today what we're going to do is hopefully make you guys understand how I made these sounds. And I'll show you right now. And also, before I start the video, if anybody knows how to record my screen and record the audio happening in Ableton at the same time, please let me know because it's getting really annoying because I have to play the music from my laptop speakers and then the microphone in the laptop has to pick that up. So it's really stupid. So anyways, here we go. A few moments later. So this bass sound right here. And it just gets better from there. I have a kick and everything, but you'd be able to hear it better if I had it set up properly, but whatever. So we're here for this. This is what we're here for. We want this, that, oh, there you go. So, first things first, uh, I'm the realist. I'm kidding, I don't like a Gigazzi So, first is Serum. That's how we made it, right there. Okay, video's done here, yeah, see how, uh, Okay, no, I'm kidding. Serum. So, I'm not gonna unless I... Hey, tell. So, first things first, we have a square wave here, but just to get that, that little ting or the tom on the top of it, add the FM Freak waveform in Serum. Wave position all the way down, nothing else on it, and you'll get this. It's really cool how that sound can add a lot of like a lot of, you know, stuff to it. And next is the filter. Uh, you need a filter. Yeah. And a lot of resonance will actually uh, really boost up that that bongo hit sound. So 48. So that's without the uh, resolu or resonance. Uh, I have a buttload of stuff on this. This here is to mainly bring out the little tom hit sound and take out the bass in here because we have a sub bass going directly out. Uh, I have a hyper dimension on here. I actually don't even have the hyper on. The hyper's not even on. And uh, the dimension is not on. So what do I want this in there? One hour later. A, uh, Two hours later. I don't know why I have these effects if they're not playing. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, Carl. Uh, chorus. This actually does something. 33%. Here are all the value thingies. I have it at BPM, and it, it sort of widens out the sound. But here's a delay, just to get some added effects in there as well. Reverb is a must. Or as it sounds really plain. Mix is at 23, size is at also 23, and uh, I don't even know if I touch any of these. The pre-delay actually I did at 100 milliseconds exactly. Uh, the EQ, like I said, I just it's to boost the little tom hit. Gain over here is at 5.1, I think it was, yep. Yeah. Uh, here I actually chained it to a, I think this is a high pass, but like a EQ type L, whatever that means. And then I have the frequency at 193 and the Q at 43%. I also have a, a glass lid noise on there. Pretty important. Here's the envelope I'm using. I don't know if no, I'm not using anything else. Envelope decays at 36. Sustain, negative 35.2. Release at 288. So the square wave is actually two octaves down. The FM Freak wavetable is one octave down, but seven semitones up to get that nice house feel. But anyways, that's it for the tutorial. I'm at 20% battery. You know, it's 4:20 p.m. 
This is not planned. Okay? So enjoy the rest of your day, I guess. And if you have suggestions for the audio video thing, please let me know.